In this video, we will list and discuss 10 characteristics of public administration. These 10 characteristics state that public administration is inherently political. It is also concerned with the public interest. Public administration operates within a legal framework and is often characterized by bureaucracy and is in essence accountable to the public. Public administration also seeks to involve the public in decision-making processes and strives to be efficient in its use of resources. Public administration must also be flexible as well as service-oriented. And lastly, public administration requires a high level of professionalism and expertise. Before we discuss each of these in more detail, let's start here. Welcome back to Public Administration 101, proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. As indicated in this video, we'll discuss the 10 characteristics of public administration. Without wasting any more time, let's get into today's video. Public administration is inherently political. This is because public administration involves the implementation of government policies and decisions. These policies and decisions are often made by elected officials who are accountable to the public and operate within a political system. Public administrators are responsible for carrying out these policies and decisions which can involve making choices that have political implications. For example, a public administrator responsible for implementing a government program may have to decide how to allocate resources or make policy decisions that affect different stakeholders. These decisions can be influenced by political considerations such as the views of elected officials, public opinion, and interest groups. Additionally, public administrators often work in a complex political environment where they must navigate the competing interests of different groups, balance competing demands, and work within legal and ethical constraints. Furthermore, public administration is not only influenced by politics, but it also has an impact on politics. Public administrators can affect the political landscape by providing information and analysis to elected officials, by advocating for certain policies, and by implementing programs that shape public opinion. Therefore, public administration is inherently political because it is intertwined with the political system and has an impact on the distribution of power and resources in society. Public administration is also concerned with public interest. This is due to the fact that public administration is responsible for providing public services and managing public resources. Public services include things like education, healthcare, public safety, transportation, and social services. These services are essential for the well-being and welfare of citizens, and they are often provided by government agencies, organizations, and departments. Public administrators are responsible for ensuring that these services are delivered efficiently, effectively, and equitably. They must balance the needs of different groups and stakeholders to ensure that public resources are allocated in a way that maximizes public interest. This requires making decisions that take into account the long-term impact of policies and programs, as well as the short-term needs of the community. Essentially, public administration is concerned with public interest because it is responsible for providing essential public services and managing public resources. Public administrators must balance competing demands and interests to ensure that public resources are allocated in a way that maximizes public interest and benefits the greatest number of people. They must also be transparent and accountable to the public to ensure that their decisions reflect the needs and priorities of the community. Public administration is also service-oriented, meaning that its primary goal is to provide services that meet the needs and expectations of the public. Service orientation in public administration is based on the recognition that the government exists to serve the public 
and that public services must be delivered in a customer-centric manner. Some of the key features of a service-oriented public administration include understanding and meeting the needs of its customers, being the public, delivering services that are efficient, effective, and of high quality, striving to make its services accessible to all members of the public, regardless of their socioeconomic status, geographic location, or physical ability, committed to accountability to the public for the delivery of services, as well as, committed to continuously improving its services, to meet the ever-changing needs and expectations, of the public. Overall, service orientation is an important characteristic of public administration, because it ensures that public services are delivered in a customer-centric manner, that meets the needs and expectations of the public, and contributes to building public trust and confidence, in government. Public administration operates within a legal framework that consists of laws, regulations, and policies. This framework provides rules and guidelines that govern how public administrators should carry out their duties and responsibilities. The legal framework includes both substantive and procedural rules that must be followed by public administrators. Public administrators must also comply with legal and ethical standards that govern their behavior. These standards include things like conflict of interest rules, anti-discrimination laws, and other regulations that ensure that public administrators act in the best interests of the public. Public administrators must comply with these rules and standards to ensure that their actions are transparent, accountable, and legal. Public administration is often characterized by bureaucracy. This bureaucratic structure includes a hierarchical organization and standardized procedures. Bureaucracy helps to ensure that tasks are carried out efficiently and effectively by creating clear lines of authority and defining specific roles and responsibilities. Bureaucracy helps to minimize confusion and ensure that tasks are carried out in a consistent and reliable manner. Bureaucratic procedures also help to ensure that decisions are made in a transparent manner, with opportunities for public input and review. However, bureaucracy can also have its drawbacks, and public administrators must balance the benefits and drawbacks of bureaucracy to ensure that it is used appropriately. Before we continue, please make sure that you check out our other videos on public administration under this channel. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. You can also support the channel by joining our exclusive channel membership community by clicking on the join button below. Now, back to today's video. Public administration is accountable to the public. This is because it is funded by taxes and is responsible for carrying out public policies. Public administration ensures accountability to the public through various mechanisms and practices that aim to ensure transparency, responsiveness, and responsible use of public resources. Some of the key ways that public administration ensures accountability to the public include Promoting transparency Public participation Independent oversight Performance measurement ethics and integrity, and legal compliance. These practices help to ensure that public resources are being used effectively and efficiently, and that public administrators are held responsible for their actions and decisions. Public administration seeks to involve the public in decision-making processes, particularly in matters that affect them. This involvement can be through various mechanisms that provide opportunities for public input and feedback, and may include the following. Public hearings. Consultation. Surveys and polls. Town hall meetings, parliamentary constituency meetings, and open houses. Social media. And, citizen advisory committees. These mechanisms help to ensure that public administration is responsive to public needs and priorities, and that decisions are made in the best interest of the public. 
By involving the public in decision-making processes, public administration can also help to build public trust and confidence in the government. Public administration must strive to be efficient in its use of public resources. This includes the efficient use of time, money, and personnel by adopting various practices and approaches that promote efficiency, effectiveness, and the economic use of resources. These could include performance measurement tools, cost-benefit analysis, a lean management structure, process improvement, automation and technology, as well as proper human resource management. These approaches help to ensure that public administration is efficient in its use of resources, and that resources are being used in a responsible and sustainable manner. By being efficient, public administration can maximize the impact of public services and programs, and ensure that taxpayers receive value for money, for their taxes. Public administration must also be flexible. This means that, Public administration must be flexible in response to changing circumstances, such as changes in the environment, technological advancements, changes in demographics, changes in social and economic conditions, as well as political changes and changes in political priorities. Flexibility also means that public administration can adjust its policies, programs, and practices to respond to new challenges and emerging issues. This requires a willingness to experiment with new approaches, learn from previous mistakes, and continuously improve its operations and services. For example, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, public administration had to be flexible in adapting to new circumstances, such as transitioning to remote work implementing social distancing protocols, and providing emergency support to individuals and businesses affected by the pandemic. Flexibility also requires the ability of public administration to collaborate and engage with various stakeholders, including other levels of government, non-governmental organizations, and the private sector. This collaboration will ensure that public administration is working effectively and efficiently to address emerging issues and challenges. Flexibility is an important characteristic because it enables public administration to adapt to changing circumstances, to respond to new challenges and opportunities, and to continuously improve its operations and services to meet the needs of the public. Last but not least, Public administration requires a high level of professionalism and expertise. A professional public administration will ensure the effective management of public resources and provide quality public services. Public administrators are responsible for making decisions that affect the lives of citizens and the overall welfare of society. Therefore, they must possess the necessary knowledge, skills, and competencies to carry out their roles effectively. Professionalism in public administration also refers to the adherence to ethical and moral standards in carrying out their duties and responsibilities. Public administrators are therefore expected to act with integrity, transparency, and accountability in all aspects of their work. They must also maintain confidentiality when handling sensitive information and avoid any conflict of interest that could compromise their objectivity and impartiality. Overall, professionalism and expertise are essential characteristics of public administration because they ensure that public administrators have the necessary knowledge, skills, and competencies to effectively manage public resources and provide quality public service that meet the needs of the public. This helps to build public trust and confidence in government, and ensures that public services are delivered in an effective and efficient manner. In conclusion, when applied correctly, these characteristics can positively advance each aspect of the public sector, including improving public sector education, the implementation of roads and transport even in remote areas, a better health care, and improved community development, 
a trusted and well-resourced law enforcement, as well as, an improvement in international relations, policy development, technology advancement, and fighting corruption, and the impact of global warming. We've come to the end of this video, on the characteristics of public administration. So, thank you for watching. Please take time to check out our other videos, on public administration, and public finance, under this channel. Where we discuss various topics, relating to public administration, public finance, public management, as well as, the management of the public sector, including the running of government. And don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel, for more content. And remember to turn on the notification button on your phone, to make sure that you don't miss out, when we post new videos. You can also connect with us, by following us on social media, at Consult Kano. And continue the conversation, by leaving us a comment, or tagging us on social media. Using the hashtag, Consult Kano. Thank you again for watching. Join us again next time, for another video. Until then, check out these other videos. Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.